Well, it's Monday and I've got some amazing pictures all planned for you all week. So make sure every day from about 11 o'clock you tune in and you can um, sit down, plan some time into your day and do your daily drawing. You don't need any experience, just we're gonna show you step by step. So today we've got a dragonfly. I'm gonna show you the basic dragonfly and a few leaves at the bottom, but you can actually turn that into something really rather magical. And if you did the frog last week, you could stick a frog in there too. So really um, can't wait to see what you all do. Um, let's just start with a few shapes. Okay, so we're gonna draw today. We're just gonna go straight in. I've got a piece of watercolor paper here because I'm gonna use my pencils. Really, really doesn't matter what you've got, just a bit of paper, any bit of paper that you can find. Um, and we're gonna start here today with a little shape, thinking about, there's about halfway up the page. We want to kind of have our dragonfly today filling the page. So I'm gonna go there. It's about, if you imagine, about a third and a third, which is interesting, because that's a really good way of thinking about composition. There's something called the rule of thirds. And that's, these, they're called the sweet spots on the page. So we've gone about a third in, and we've got that, that first shape. It's not a circle, it's not a square, it's somewhere in between. Now, all of these shapes we're gonna put in, I want to keep them nice and curved. So look how my pencil is very light, my grip's very light. We're gonna come in, cover it off. So we've got two shapes there, one, two. Now, coming underneath now, what I want to do is have a shape here, one, and then this one here, let's take it out a little bit. We're, I'm being really subtle here with this. Can you see, I'm bringing that shape so it's sort of round like that. And each of these little shapes, if you make them slightly different rather than uniform, it'll just make your drawing a little bit more interesting. Now you don't want them too small because we want to get, be able to get some color in. So there, there we go, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm gonna go much thinner. Can you see, much thinner and straight lines now. One, two, a little bit longer, three, four, five. Now if it's not exactly the same, don't worry too much, but we want that idea of a delicate body in the center of our Dragonfly, so pause now on the screen and just pop that bit into the middle of your paper. Right, so we're gonna put the, the wings in now and the bit I want you to be focusing on is that long bit that we've put in there. So if you go about just over halfway up it, you see it's exactly the same on both sides, pop in two little marks. And I want you to take a line out and then we're going to go down. So you're really, really concentrating when you, when you start doing this. Look, look at the sheet that's going to be paused on and don't draw what you think you should, which is just a wing. Draw what you can actually see. A line coming down and then that little curve. And up here we're going to go there and then down and join. So quite thin, I'm gonna give this really delicate thin wings and same, exactly the same here. So thinking about that length there, straight, down a curve, make sure you've got that curve at the end and then take it round like that. Probably should have done, gone slightly longer there. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll just put it in now and then chain, rub it out at the end. So that's two wings. We're now gonna put in the top wings here. So again, here, we're gonna go up, same on both sides. Take that line across and curve it down. Same here, take that line across. We'll just go a bit different here. We'll just go like that and take it down. And that's our dragonfly. Okay, we're gonna finish this off by just a little line in there. So that's very simple. And then we're gonna put two little 
I don't know what they are. Arms. Antenna. Antenna. Elizabeth's just <laughs> whispered to me. Thank you. Right, so we'll pop those in. Now we're going to put in some grasses here. So you'll, you'll be able to see on the guide sheet. Don't worry too much about following it exactly, but you can just take up some nice thick grasses. I suppose leaves that take them beyond and really fill the page with these. I'm just following what you're gonna see so you can be able to see this on the screen. I'm gonna take another big one and go right underneath there like that. Take it down. See again how loosely I'm holding the pencil, keep your pencil grip nice and loose. And then finish it there, I want that folds over. So you really don't have to stick to that. You can put whatever you want in the background. I like the idea of maybe bringing in your frog that we did last week and you could create a slightly bigger picture with your frog maybe making a leap to have the dragonfly for his lunch. But um, this is your dragonfly. You can take it from here. You can do um, colour it in pencils. You can colour it in crayons, whatever you happen to have at home. If you have got some watercolour pencils or fancy seeing how they work, just stick with us and I'm going to show you that bit. So we're going to do this one in watercolour pencils. The key really to making the watercolour pencils work effectively is the paper. So it's a good strong watercolour paper. If you've got a strong cartridge paper, whatever, that might work um, almost as well, but it is the 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 watercolour paper works brilliantly with it. So I've got a few selection of colours here and I'm going to start with the green and I'm going to go pretty subtle here. I want a little line down the middle and then just not quite central all the way down. And you'll see why in a second. I'm going to take that. I've got two brushes here. When you go into an art shop, you can be faced with a multitude of many, many, many different types of brushes. At the art store, we tend to go for a small, a medium and a large, and it pretty much meets all our needs. And I find at home with my painting, it's exactly the same. You really don't need a great deal. So you can see I'm turning that, but I want it to be slightly darker on one side, but I've still got this nice bit of green. I've gone slightly over the edge there, but that's where my artist best friend will help me out. I'll just same at the bottom. Okay, so I've got the green in. And I'm now going to take the blue and I'm going to go around the edges here. So the wings, I'm going to go around each of the edges like that. And at the end, I want to put the pigment. So that's what I'm doing with this now. I'm putting the paint pigment in. It's not colouring in, it's getting the pigment down on the paper. Same here. And we'll take it round. So that's the same on the other side. We'll get the blue in. Here. And here. Now what I'm going to do in the centre, this is where the, these watercolour pencils are brilliant. I'm going to take a red line, almost like a vein down the centre of a leaf, and I'm going to put them in, put that in the wing. Like that. And now I'm going to take my brush, this is my number six, like a middle size brush. And what I'm going to do is just towards the edge. So I'm not colouring it all, I'm just getting this lovely, see how I'm using my watercolour, I'm using my um, kitchen roll all the time. It really truly is our best friend as an artist. I'm starting with the red first, taking it out. And then... I'm going to go and turn the blue. So I'm doing the blue second because as I, can you see, as I move in, it's just picking up on the red and we're getting those lovely effects. Can you see that, how it's moving in? We'll do the same round here. Start with the blue. And as it touches that bit of red, it's turning slightly to purple. So it's quite subtle. It just makes it quite interesting. So to start again, start with the blue, take it in, let it touch slightly. We'll do the same here. So 
So there's the wings done. And I'm now going to put in at either side here, just two, I'm not going to change that to paint. I'm just going to leave that like that. But what I am going to do around the body is just go around each of those lines we drew earlier with pencil. And I'm going to do those with the blue. But I'm, again, I'm not going to turn this to paint. I'm just going to leave it as a sort of outline, more subtle than using a fine liner. And it just gives an extra bit of colour there around the body. So that's all I did was just outline it, really. Now I'm going to put in a final touch here on the dragonfly. And again, I'm not going to turn that to paint. I'm just going to leave it like that. With the leaves, this is this was my idea with the leaves. I'm just going to go up like that, nice, solid. I'm always talking about pressing lightly, but I, really not with the watercolour pencils. With the watercolour pencils, when you want to get the pigment down, can you see, slightly a bit too heavy-handed there, but around the outside, I'm going to go with a dark blue, a dark green, sorry. And then on the inside, I'm going to put a bit of light green and we'll see how this works. So light green on the inside. I might actually put another bit of dark green as well. Now, if I, if I started to use some water and then tried to use the pencils dry next to it, it really doesn't work very well. So just like this, and then I'm going to put another let's see, line in the middle and then we'll see what happens. And I get my brush. I'm going to use my really big brush here, actually, just for speed. Okay, can you see how I'm going to be careful around my dragonfly? But it's got that effect where it's just very quickly turning to paint. Now, with yours, you could at this point, you could add in, um, uh, you know, lily, lilies um, on, a, on a lily pond. You could have um, different uh, pond creatures. This is your painting. You do exactly what you want with it, but make sure you send us a picture because we would love to see. We're loving this. Now, Elizabeth just reminded me of something which I've been forgetting to do. You see at the end there, I just, you can just sweep it up, sweep it out. Now, Elizabeth reminded me that I haven't been signing my work. You have to. Always remember to sign. So I hope you really loved it. Can't wait to see you tomorrow for some balloons. Hope you really enjoyed that and I can't wait to see what you have produced. So you can go to our Facebook page, take a picture of your work and put it on. Let us know how your age and um, and it would be amazing to see if you can put add some details in or whatever you want. You can now, if you'd like, you could pick up um, FaceTime somebody, granny, grandparents, aunties, uncles, whatever, and see if they can have a go at it too. See whether they can um, whether they can do as well as you've done with your dragonfly. And I will see you tomorrow. We will release the next lesson at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's Tuesday. And it's going to be hot air balloons. So we will see you then. Mm -hmm.